Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio Zaval here, and thank you for stopping by to another Tech Tuesday. This is episode number five, and I uh, was actually not sure if I was going to make it for this episode. Thankfully, I'm here. Last week, I was in Minnesota, and the week before, in San Francisco, so I wasn't sure if I was going to get to do this one, but here I am. Uh, speaking of being in those cities, I was able to take many pictures while I was there, and I don't know about you, but many times you take pictures and sometimes there's a great picture and there's just this one spot that is in the way that I wouldn't say ruins the picture, but like if it wasn't there, it might help. Sometimes there may be a person there and you're like, if I can only take that person out, it would kind of make this picture a whole lot better. So I'm going to share with you two apps that you can use to help remove some of those unwanted folks in the images. The great thing is that you can use this on your phone so you don't have to open up your computer. You know what? Let's go ahead and roll the intro. As I mentioned earlier, sometimes you may have this one image that was great, but there's just a maybe there's a dog that ran and stood in a certain spot or or there's something sticking out, if you can just remove it, it would make that image a whole lot better. Well, fortunately, there are many apps, but I'm gonna share with you two of them. The first one is Lightroom, and then the second one is called Snapseed. Pretty cool things, you can do the same thing with both, so I'm just gonna share with you how it works. So let's go ahead and jump right into the first one here. This is Lightroom. Really cool thing about the Lightroom mobile app is that when you work on it, the desktop version will sync up via the cloud. Whatever changes you make, whatever presets you have will work between both, which is really, really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here to Lightroom and look for a picture that I took the other day. And this one is it. A uh, really cool picture of a field and my daughter standing right there and I had asked her, can you please move out of the way? And obviously she's still there. Really neat, I can go ahead and zoom in here and I'm going to use this tool called the Healing Brush, which is that one there. You can use the brush, if you see it looks like a Band-Aid there. There's a stamp tool, but I'm gonna use the Band-Aid there because basically I'm gonna heal it. And you can adjust the size of the brush, you can see there, and the feathering. So if you notice, see how it kind of gets really sharp on the edges and then really kind of feathered. So I'm going to use about that size there. And basically what I'm going to do is color her out there. And as soon as I release, the app does the rest. It's looking through and it's, you can see there on the left hand side, it's pulling in the information from the picture, moving it over to the right. And as you can see, it's kind of copied, but as I zoom out, you might not even notice as much. And just kind of for demonstration, I'm going to leave it like that, hit the check mark, and look at that. You wouldn't even know that she was there. Gone. Now this picture is ready to go. All I need to do is hit the share button up there, save to camera roll. Uh, I'm going to choose maximum available. And now that picture is saved. She is no longer there. Boom. I have healed this picture. The next app that I'm going to share with you is called Snapseed. That is what it looks like there. So let's go ahead and launch it and tap anywhere to open photo. Let me scroll through all my images here and find that one. Here we go. Went too far. As you can see there, there's a picture with my daughter there and there's one that I just healed using the other app. So let's tap here and tap on tools at the bottom. There are many other tools here, but the one I'm going to share with you is called Healing. Zoom in here. As you can see on the lower left, you can actually navigate up and down using that square. But that's where I want to be, right about there. Similar to the other one, I'm just going to color around her. This one doesn't have as, uh, say, fine adjustments as the other one, but it will do. And there we go. Let go. And that's it. Now she's gone. It uses data from its surroundings to uh, manipulate the picture there and basically remove where my daughter was. So I'm gonna hit the 
checkbox on the lower right corner and choose export and say save as a copy or save over the original one. I'm going to go ahead and choose save over the original. Uh, allow snap seed to modify this photo, modify it and boom, it is saved. So those original images with my daughter are gone. Now uh, I was able to heal the image and remove her from there and actually recreate this picture um, as if she was never even there. Really, really neat. Okay, with that, let's go ahead and jump back over to the screen. Now, that is how easy it is for you to edit images. Make it seem as if something was never, ever, ever really there. All you have to do is use the healing tool or the healing brush in either of these two apps. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this. Please, please do hit the like button and also please do subscribe to my channel. Until next time, go out and have fun shooting images and then fixing them with either of these two apps. Until next time, peace out.